Ever feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders and the pressure just keeps mounting? You're not alone. In this fast-paced, ever-evolving world, stress is as prevalent as the air we breathe. It's an unseen adversary, silently weaving its way into our daily lives, often leaving us feeling overwhelmed and fatigued. Stress, in its many forms, has become a universal experience, a common denominator among us all. From the hustle and bustle of city life to the quiet corners of suburbia, no one is immune. Its effects on our health and well-being are profound and far-reaching, impacting our minds, bodies, and even our relationships. However, managing stress isn't about completely eradicating it from our lives. Rather, it's about learning how to handle it effectively, turning it from a formidable foe into a manageable part of life. But fear not, because today, we're going to learn how to combat this unseen adversary. First off, we need to pinpoint what exactly is causing the stress. It's like being a detective on your own case, sifting through the clues to find the culprit. This step is crucial because stress, like many things in life, isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. What may be a stress trigger for one person might be a walk in the park for another. Now these triggers, they can be either external or internal. External triggers are events or circumstances outside of us. This could be a demanding job, a rocky relationship, financial problems, or even just the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's like the world is a spinning top and we're just trying to keep our balance. Uh, on the other hand, internal triggers come from within us. This could be our outlook on life, our mindset, our thought patterns. For example, if you're someone who tends to see the glass as half empty, you may be more prone to stress. Or if you're a perfectionist, always striving for that elusive perfect, you might find yourself in a constant state of stress. It's like we're our own worst enemies, stirring up a storm inside our minds. And let's not forget about negative self-talk, that little voice in our heads that whispers, you're not good enough, you can't do it, you're going to fail. This can be a powerful stress trigger, as it erodes our self-confidence and amplifies our insecurities. So how do we identify these triggers? Well, it's all about self-awareness. Take a step back, observe your thoughts, emotions and reactions. Ask yourself, what was happening when I started to feel stressed? What was I thinking? How was I feeling? It's like piecing together a puzzle, each piece giving you a clearer picture of your stress triggers. Once we know what's causing the stress, we can start to take control. It's like having a roadmap, guiding you out of the maze of stress. But remember, it's not about eliminating stress completely, but rather managing it effectively. Because stress, like many things in life, is not always a bad thing. It can motivate us, drive us, push us to achieve our goals. It's all about finding that balance, that sweet spot between stress and calm, challenge and comfort, effort and ease. Now that we've identified our stress triggers, let's shift our focus to the power of positive thinking. Our minds are powerful entities capable of shaping our reality. How we perceive our world, how we react to it and how we feel about it are all deeply influenced by our thought patterns. When negative thoughts take the reins, they can exacerbate feelings of stress and anxiety, turning minor obstacles into insurmountable hurdles. But what if we could harness this power? What if we could shape our reality with positivity instead? Positive thinking isn't about ignoring life's problems in favor of a rosy outlook. It's about approaching those problems with a constructive and optimistic mindset. It's about recognizing that there is a silver lining in every cloud, a lesson in every failure and an opportunity in every challenge. So how do we replace negative thoughts with positive ones? It begins with awareness. Notice when you're dwelling on the negatives. Recognize the pattern. Once you're aware of these thoughts, you can begin to challenge them. Ask yourself, is this thought based on fact or assumption? Is there another way to look at this situation? Could there be a positive side to this that I'm overlooking? Positive affirmations can also be a powerful tool. These are positive statements that you repeat to yourself such as, I can handle this or I am capable and strong. By repeating these affirmations, you can begin to shift your mindset and boost your self-esteem. This shift isn't easy and it doesn't happen overnight. It requires patience and practice, but the benefits are worth it. Positive thinking can lower your stress levels, improve your mood and even boost your physical health. 
It can make you more resilient in the face of adversity, allowing you to bounce back from setbacks with greater ease. Remember, it's not about eliminating negative thoughts completely, but about managing them effectively. It's about taking control of your mind and in turn, taking control of your stress. Because when you change your thoughts, you can change your world. Our next step in managing stress revolves around creating healthy habits. Let's delve into the significance of regular exercise, a balanced diet and sufficient sleep and how these habits can profoundly transform our stress levels and overall well-being. First and foremost, regular exercise is an incredible stress buster. It's not just about getting those muscles working and heart pumping. It's about releasing endorphins, our body's natural feel-good chemicals. These endorphins act as natural painkillers and mood elevators, helping us feel happier, more relaxed and less stressed. Whether it's a brisk walk, a yoga session or a high-intensity workout, finding an activity that you enjoy and making it a part of your routine can have a significant impact on managing stress. Next, let's consider our diet. Eating a balanced, nutritious diet is not only essential for our physical health, but also our mental well-being. Consuming foods rich in vitamins, minerals and antioxidants can improve our brain health, enhance our mood and reduce stress levels. It's about making mindful choices, opting for whole grains, lean proteins, fruits and vegetables and healthy fats while limiting processed foods, sugar and caffeine. Remember, what we feed our body ultimately impacts how we feel and function. Last but certainly not least is the importance of sufficient sleep. Sleep is our body's way of recharging and repairing. It's during sleep that our brain processes the day's events, forms memories and renews its energy. Depriving ourselves of this crucial rest period can lead to increased stress levels, mood swings and a decrease in our ability to concentrate and make decisions. Aim for 7 to 9 hours of quality sleep each night to keep stress at bay and maintain optimal health. By incorporating these healthy habits into our daily routine, we're well on our way to managing stress effectively. Remember, the journey to stress management is a continuous one, requiring commitment, patience and self-care. So let's start today, one step at a time, towards a healthier, less stressed life. Sometimes, managing stress can be too much to handle on our own. It's like being stuck in a labyrinth, where every turn seems to lead to a dead end. But remember, we don't have to navigate this labyrinth alone. There are always people ready to lend a hand, to guide us to the exit. Let's talk about the importance of seeking support. If you're feeling overwhelmed, reaching out to loved ones can make a world of difference. It's like having a co-pilot in your life's journey. They won't necessarily take control of the wheel, but they'll be there to share the burden, to offer a comforting word or to simply listen when you need to vent. They can provide a fresh perspective, helping you see solutions you might have overlooked. But what if your stress levels persist despite your best efforts? That's where professional help comes in. You see, therapists and counselors are trained to help people navigate through life storms. They're like your personal weather forecasters, helping you anticipate and prepare for the turbulent times ahead. There's absolutely no shame in seeking professional help. In fact, it's a sign of strength, a testament to your commitment to bettering your life. It's like hiring a personal trainer for your mental health. They can provide you with the tools and techniques to manage stress effectively, to turn that overwhelming labyrinth into a manageable maze. And what if you're unsure about where to start? Well, there are plenty of resources available online. Websites like the American Psychological Association or the National Institute of Mental Health offer directories of licensed mental health professionals. You can even find support groups and online forums where people share their experiences and offer advice. Remember, asking for help isn't a sign of weakness. It's a crucial part of stress management. It's about acknowledging that we're humans, not superheroes. We all have our limits and it's okay to seek assistance when we reach them. Remember, you're never alone in this fight against stress. Whether it's a loved one or a professional, there's always someone willing to lend a helping hand. So don't be afraid to reach out. After all, we're all in this labyrinth together. So, to recap, stress management is a multi-step process that requires self-awareness, positive thinking, healthy habits and support. We started by recognizing stress as an unseen adversary, something that sneaks up and makes life challenging. Identifying our stress triggers is the first crucial step in managing it. It's about knowing what sets off your stress response and finding ways to minimize those triggers. 
Next, we talked about the power of positive thinking. How it's not just about being optimistic, but also about reframing negative thoughts and focusing on the good. Then we discussed the importance of healthy habits in stress management. Eating right, getting enough sleep, exercise and taking time for yourself can all help in reducing stress levels. And lastly, we emphasized seeking support and professional help when needed. It's okay to ask for help and it's important to know that you're not alone in this. Remember, stress is a part of life, but it doesn't have to control your life. Take back control and start living a happier, healthier life today. Knowledge Workspace.